And hello. So we're going to chill. We're going to relax a little bit and we're going to play some Vinemon. Vinemon? Vinemon? It doesn't matter. This is going to be fun. This is a community based Pokemon, but sauce edition. So I'm pretty excited about this. So now you're probably wondering, what is this? I'm going to let it speak for itself a bit. Okay, let's start this thing. Um, I should probably show you here is some of the the folks that made it okay swan vial as a tribute to vine sauce so now this is a demo Let's see if i can make the window bigger i can't that's okay but i think i might be able to make some progress maybe even finish it so my question to you is um who's that pokemon it's pikachu all right, let's see. Oh, okay. There's a scoot noise in there. That was Feet Don't Fail Me by Queens of the Stone Age. Okay, so already appealing heavily. Uh, okay, look, look, it's my, my streaming space. That's what it looks like. I can confirm that that's exactly what it looks like. There's my Rickenbacker. There's an automaton. There's a spider closet. <laughs> Two monitors that barely fit. Microphone scoot, of course, and a sink and the trash that's the first song on the album and by god ginger elvis did it again it's not the best song on the album but i love villains of circ villains of circumstance good shit wait is this me streaming what the hell am i in a stream while i'm streaming like you got to prepare me for that get me warmed up to it okay this is streamception so yeah welcome to the stream i got some trash for you tonight isn't that how it always is so, why don't we get started? So this is Vinemon Sauce Edition by Lizarin Red, Dry Boney, Shy Guy XXL, and The Synergist. Wait. What have you done? You... Monsters. Was Vine Sauce Cart not enough for you guys? God almighty. I oh, might as well get this over with. God damn it. Wait a minute. Am I still online? Guys, well, get those Vine Risings ready. Am I this predictable? I think I am. Yeah, my internet's down. Great. What the hell was that? Captain N, the Game Master. Now what? The power's out. What's going on? Wait, wait, wait. I like. I want to see the rest of the room. Wait a minute. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. Where the hell am I? Finny, is that you? Imakuni, you're here too? Thank God you're here. Please tell me what the fuck is going on. I'm no more in the know than you, Vin. One minute I'm streaming this goofy game called Vinamon, and then the next... Poof! I was engulfed in a bright light and woke up here. Mental. This is the last Sunday stream I ever do. How many times have I said that over the years? I like the dink fountain, by the way. Holy fuck. Ah, poor Vin. How leave? How can leave? Wow, they got this too scarily accurate. Come on, Vin, you know the drill. It's Pokemon, or should I say Vinemon? Same old routine. Go to the lab, get a Vinemon, yabba dabba do. Vinemon, are you serious? I'm gonna do some scouting. I'll let you know what I find. Later, Vin. In the meantime, just try to have a good time. And don't die. Isn't that the goal of life? Imakuni dropping fucking... Taoist wisdom. Fuck. Sorry, this will not be a profanity-free stream. I, w I will not be able to watch my profanity. Okay, so we got Majora's Mask, a bewitched mask that nearly destroyed Termina. It's non-responsive. Seems the transition into Vinamon neutralized its power. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. Suddenly, a rogue train comes flying from behind and jumps the adjacent track. M -m 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 multi track drifting! Nope, there's only trash here for some reason. It reeks of pickle brine. Wow, you guys went all out with the detail. My vine shroom clock. It's frozen at exactly 4.20 p.m. Typical. 
It's a streaming itinerary. It makes a great trash bin. Yeah, exactly. I don't have one of those. A stark red fridge. It's full of cured meats, condiments, and Polish water ice. The best on the boardwalk. Vinny's speciality. Staten Island. Blow it out your ass, burger. You stole that from AVGN. That's not mine. It's a gag calendar. Days of the week are illustrated by a little cartoon. Every Sunday, the character is shown drinking bleach. <laughs> There's so many references. Vinny dialed a number. Yes, it's the bucket mouse. Holy flying tits. Sorry, fucking tits. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get that wrong. Thanks for calling. It would appear Vinny dialed a wrong number. A common houseplant. It's been treated with nutrients, but not enough to grow into a mega smilax. I can't believe all this. A map of the Fanoth region. This might come in handy later. Oh, that's an old school reference. They say children who wander into the forest become skull kids. Perhaps Fine Sauce viewers are doomed to become garbage pail kids. A framed streaming schedule. All the days are blank. A frank reminder that you don't adhere to a regular schedule. And that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate the approval. A poster inspired by Metroid 2, Samus Returns. If only there was a Vine Sauce 2, Vinny returns to his homeworld. The nightstand is stuffed with fruit roll-ups. Some appear to be... used. Deep reference. Good. Very deep. A soft, pillowy bed, perfect for snoozing after a good night of streams and scum. Why is the toilet out in the open like this? Vinny dialed Verizon customer service. Hello, sir. How may I be of assistance? Your bullshit service incarcerated me in a game I was playing. You want to get me out of this? This is unacceptable for how much I pay. I'm sorry, sir, but do not presume there to be a problem with the game you are trapped in. Oh, you don't understand. I'm literally stuck in the game. There is no problem, sir. Do not worry. There is no problem. Are you even listening to me? Sir, you worry too much. Please relax. Have you tried a speed test? Bab. Take the router, throw it out the window, then piss on yourself in the face. Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you for choosing Verizon. Wait, wait! Click. Ah, oh, god damn it! Toilet Kun is bubbling with a foamy saccharine substance. It's edible. Could benefit from a shot of Makers, though. <laughs> of course my toilet is right out in the open. A photo of me looking sad, as usual. Found Vinny's XXX. It's just my sock drawer. Jesus. Get your heads out of the gutter. Degenerates. They're writing me like Todd Howard now. It's chock full of Cthulhu Mythos books and old strategy guides. Vinny played the NES. There's a zen to this. I should treat myself more often. In fact, maybe I'll just play good games from now on. Nah, fuck it. I wonder if this is one of those... ...good games. There's reference after reference. But we haven't even gotten to the actual core of the game yet, but I have to keep going. Vinny's specialty. Extra greasy oil receptacle pepperoni and basil pizza. This fridge is for storing cold ones to crack open with chat on Sunday nights. An automaton. It's great for disrupting chat to break up petty squabbles. <laughs> My guitar. It was once defiled with a vibrator to produce an unusual sound. Wrong guitar, but I accept. It's empty, save for two bright red phallic-shaped objects. A second monitor devoted to reading chat messages. It's frozen right now. The last message reads, Haha, I wonder what Vinny smells like asking for a friend. Haha. Thanks, Anal Fisher 42069 xxd Appreciate it. Appreciate? I've never said that word like that in my life. Why start now? It's busted beyond all repair. My most prized and invaluable possession. My precious scoot. Dear Lord. A fountain built in Mr. Dink's likeness. It must have been very expensive. Beanstalk Village, where adventure takes root and sprouts. Oh, I can run. That's nice. Are you raising Vinamon too? Scoot's a cutie, but its evolved form is rather, well, you'll see. Wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. It, and taste is subjective, after all. Let's take a look at the inventory. That would be helpful for me. It won't really make a difference for the chat, but... Oh, that's kind of nice. A little infringerino, so we'll turn it off. I think eventually this will be available for people to play. Okay, Kevin. Wow. It's the real Binyat. My name is Kevin, and I'm 12 years old. Everyone in my 6th grade class loves watching you. <laughs> hey, say something funny, ha ha ha. 
How are you the illustrious Vinny of Vine Sauce fame? My son is an avid fan. Will you give him a moment of your time? It'll make his day. No! I am not here for your amusement! <laughs> wow. There's so many... so many references. Okay. Technology is amazing. You can now digitize living people into game worlds. I'm actually a real person, just like you. This is great! I'm gonna be, finally be able to meet my beloved waifu. Oh, Titty-chan, where are you? I, I... I hope... I really hope... I hope this isn't as bad as I think it's gonna be. No, it's probably fine. What happened here? Ha ha! Oh, Vinathoth. It's horrible! I'm in a real jam, Vinathoth! And not the sweet boysenberry kind. That accent. Oh no, Mr. Dink. That's right, Vinathoth! Stop the game, I want to get off. No time for chit-chat! Mike Love is coming to get me! Mike Love, he's here too? Oh my god. He's suing me into the ground, Vinathoth! For all his lousy music I had playing in my lab! Now he's out for blood! He seized all my expensive goods and chattels and stuff, and even my precious grill! Sounds rough, but what do you want me to do? Take my last Vinamon, please. It's Scoot, the only one I managed to save from his copyright Gestapo. Isn't he just the cutest? Ha <laughs> ha! Vinny obtained Scoot. Would you like to give a nickname to Scoot? No. We've already wasted enough time. We gotta get out of here! Ah, oh, Professor Dink just ran past. What happened? Fucking Mike Love, the villain, doing what he does best. Ah, oh, shit, I hope Dink's okay. Either way, you got a Vinamon. Let's see how strong it is. Man, come on, I don't want to battle, I just want to go home. Sorry, Vin, them's the rules. Besides, it'll be fun. So here we go. <laughs> really great sprite work. Rival Imakuni sent out Apple. <laughs> I eat ass! <laughs> Holy shit, this looks really good! Wow. I like how Scoot has made appearances like all weekend for the charity stream. That's That's been uh, an endearing thing for me. Oh, Apple. Oh, there's berries and stuff. Okay, we got this, we got this. Rest in peace. Vinny defeated rival Imakuni. How'd you beat me? Nice going, Vin. See, you still got it. If I beat Pokemon Moon, I can beat this garbage. Fourth wall obliterated. Oh, speaking of garbage, before I forget, Professor Dink told me to give you this. It's Vine Gear. That's cute, Marissa. It's just Poke Gear. It's Vine Gear. It's a very handy device. It functions as a map and a quest status list. Then he put the Vine Gear in the important stuff pocket. Man, I love this community sometimes. You know, you guys make so much cool stuff, and I'm so appreciative that the community comes together to make cool stuff for me to stream. Thank you so much. Anyway, you'd be Vinemon fodder without it, trust me. Anyway, be seeing you. Wait, what about a Pokedex? Oh, that? I only have one, but if I find another, I'll lend it to you. I still have so many questions. You'll be fine. Don't let the Vinemon bean you when you leave town. Oh, I wouldn't want to get beans. Oh no, something tells me this will be the most painful Sunday of my life. And it actually is Sunday, so I mean... An email from Mike Love. Hey, Dink, you best eviscerate that stolen music from your lab before I come over and do it for you. And don't you dare flake out on... Uh, flake out like Mick Jagger. I'd like to see him show his sorry ass up here. Dancing in the street, you'll be dancing in the heat of copyright hell. So heed my words unless you want to be dink dank dead. Capiche? Mike Love. Okay. Mike Love. There's a hole in the seat. Oh god, it's the dink chair. Oh no. 
Mike Love is the um, the guy who sang on many Beach Boys songs. For anyone who doesn't know, he is notoriously litigious. He basically ruined the Beach Boys in oh so many ways, and he was the villain of um, my Metopia streams. And I notoriously do not like him. And now he is the only Beach Boys left, really. I mean, he's just touring with them, even though Brian Wilson is one of my favorite people, who is the band. He wrote all the best songs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there you go. Now you're up to speed. Capiche? There's a rapper from the Bluff Scout Booster Bar the Professor ate earlier. Books on science, barbecue grills, and how to manage one's expenses. Dawkins? Like that dude? Wow, the power of memes is absolutely marvelous. Why? Without them, you and I would never have been born. Yeah, it's that, Dawkins. That's quite sad, actually. It's all right, Binyat. Let me heal you as a thanks for my existence. Howdy, welcome to Beanstalk Town. What brings you to this neck of the woods, partner? You don't know? Son, I think you best be laying off those mushrooms from Animal Forest. Last fellow who tried him thought he was a floating brain. <laughs> Scary stuff. A landscape painting with liberal use of alizarin red and titanium white. Oh, man. Those self-referential moments. A photo of a lanky, roguish man clad in purple and sporting a mustache. He looks dejected, as if excluded from something. Post them Waluigi's. Really quite, it's really quite sad, isn't it? A mushroom with a familiar pattern. Was there no store in that? It's a larby? <laughs> Music is pretty cool. I remember one time I tried to write a battle theme for a video game. I don't remember how it went, but it wasn't anything particularly amazing. It's hard. It's hard to keep it dynamic, so that way when you're fucking doing a battle, which is inevitably what you do in an RPG forever, you don't get too bored. I'll give you an example of a great RPG battle theme. Final Fantasy VIII. Quality. <coughs> Exceptionally good. Lots of different parts, it's dynamic. It sounds great. Here's how you don't do an RPG battle theme. Chrono Cross. Every song on that soundtrack is 10 out of 10 for me, except the battle theme. And maybe that's just because I heard it so much, or it's because of the violins. I like that vine shroom over there. A stone mushroom with a face. Um... Vineth, the the giants. Those fiends broke into my lab and took my only other vine mod, Ch Cherry. The man commanding the giants called himself Vlinny. Oh no, Professor, what are you talking about? It's not safe for me here. It's not safe for anyone. This isn't even a Mr. Dink voice anymore. Beware the giants. Are these like Waluigi outfits? You did it, Vin. You made it all the way here without dying. Only emotionally, Marissa. So, <laughs> the professor is in a pinch. You heard the news, right? Yeah, it sounds like Mike Love is a prick in Vinamon, too. Who would have thought? If only you knew how bad things really are, then. Devilishly cryptic, Marissa. I can't share too much. It, it isn't safe here. Let's just say I discovered some horrible things during my scouting. Is it about the Jans? Shh, not so loud. This town might already be compromised. Well, let me fix it then. The sooner I play hero, the faster we get out of here. You're not ready yet, Vin. Nowhere near. Do you even know what a one-up center is? I bet you haven't even caught a single Vinamon yet, have you? I figured I'd just plow through the game without with my starter. <laughs> That's very typical of me. <sighs> tisk tisk. You have a lot to learn, Vin. Follow me. Oh my god. Wouldn't it be nice and yeah. It's oh okay, it's copyright protected version. Just just in case Mike Love wanted to come knocking on the door. Be having <laughs> I can't believe this. One-up centers are identical to Pokemon centers. They'll heal your Vanamon right up free of charge. 
if you <laughs> this music and if you happen to lose a fight god forbid you'll end up back here i just magically teleport to the nearest one up center if i'm defeated yeah pretty convenient best not to question it there's a market upstairs but they don't offer much to newbies like you better items will become available as you obtain streamer keys streamer keys yes fanoth's gym badges you get those only when you defeat another streamer. Wait, does that mean everyone else is here? I'd imagine. I know Dyer's got a gym north of here. You should challenge him first. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. I feel like you're hiding something. When we meet again, I'll tell you more. Until then, focus on building a party and leveling your Vinamon. You'll need it. Dyer's a tough cookie. Anyway, be seeing you. Marissa, wait! Oh, fuck. Ow! Oh, I'm Tinky Winky. Yep. That's that's a Vinamon. Tinky Winky is a motherfucking Vinamon. Hello and welcome to. I know, I know. Just heal my Vinamon, please. Again, very me. Finally, fuck. <laughs> these one up centers are perfect for resting these haggard old bones. Why, I already feel 20 years younger. <laughs> I hope not, because that would make me 13. How ironic. You strike me as a lad with a 13-year-old sense of humor. Obtained burn heal. Vinny put the burn heal in the drugs pocket. God damn it. Gee, thanks. Good night, baby. They don't sell uh, you much here unless you have more streamer keys. Oh, we need some of these. I like how you just got just enough of the song so that you can you can make it recognizable but then you just change it up at the right time delightfully devilish hello i helped tend bert's garden did you know he can craft custom vina balls using the fruit from these trees every day a different fruit an apricorn will appear huh. and bert can turn them into vine balls you should have him make you one. If you give him an Epicorn, um, I'll trade you for some Vine Balls. Blue... Apricorn. Oh, I get it. Blue Ape... Yep. I used... To, yep. Wouldn't it be nice? Hey, uh, Vin, I heard you singing a little bit of my song that I wrote. Well, actually, Mike Love, Brian Wilson wrote that song. Huh? Uh, can you speak to my lawyer, please? I, I can't hear you. Talk to the hand. Look so old and worn, they make Bert look like a fetus. Hello, I'm Bert. I specialize in turning apricorns into vine balls. If you can, or if you like, I can convert one of yours into a vine ball. Let's do blue. Okay, I'll turn your blue apricorn into a vine ball for you. It should be finished by tomorrow. Okay, I see how that works. We're actually from Johto. My grandpa wanted to bring his brand to Fanoth. I'm so happy for him. Confirmed, this is in the same universe as the other Pokemon games. The little girl's diary better not take a peek. The coffee mug says, I'm baller. <laughs> a complaint letter from someone who took offense at receiving a heavy ball. Offense. Stacks of books on Johto lore and mythology. The cover of the book on top depicts several alphabet-like creatures. I blew my entire pension on this shrine. I thought it, there was a catch. If, if you donated enough, you'd get a reward. I thought Mike Love would bless me with fame and fortune, too. But alas, tis but a ruse. He betrayed- ruse. Uh, he betrayed me. He didn't keep his promise, and I don't care anymore. This shrine is property of Mike Love. Feel free to donate your unwanted money here. <laughs> I wonder if Mike Love will ever get, um, wind of this. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I just sing my songs and make some cash. Well, that's right, those are my songs. He betray me. Inside the garbage pail was nothing. Nothing right after nothing came bursting out. I visit this garden every morning on my way to work. It's usually delightful. Sadly, some delinquent keeps using it as a trash dumping ground on Sundays. Called out. Rost berries. I have a feeling people are going to be very upset with me for taking the things from their garden here. Natural drugs. <laughs> hell of a way to put that, huh? The crate is empty. Empty like the void where your soul should be. 
Jeez. Jesus. Oh. Welcome to the Streamer Lounge. This is where the streamers rest up and fight casual mock battles. What are mock battles, you ask? They're battles where both trainers are assigned a team of Vinamon just for that one match. After that, everyone gets their regular team back. Have fun, you can laugh, you can cry, but please don't hurt each other. Cool. A domesticated piranha plant. This poses no danger to you. He is a tame boy. A banner for last year's PCRF. The streamers look so happy they could cry. The TV is used exclusively for video games. That SNES loaded with Super Metroid is tempting, but now is not the time. Howdy Vin, like the duds, they're authentic dragon scales. On the topic of scales, I ought to scale your competence as a trainer. You up for a mock battle? Don't drag me down, man! Hey Vinny, so happy to see you, you big lug. I can't wait to show you my super adorable team, let's battle. Oh, you're gonna make me a sad seal. Hello, Italian Joel. <laughs> you and me, mano a mano. We gotta duke it out big time. Aw, oh, you pussy, that's about right, yeah. Let me lay it on the line. We had two on the vine. What's up, Vinny? You ready to take on the king of combat? Yo, Vin, I heard from the spud vine you got scoot. I'm sick of being a couch potato. A fight would be quite tight about now. Wanna rumble? Oh, I'm so sad. How's my cool pickaxe treating you? Oh, you don't have it yet? Well, in Silicin Town, like, is that like Silasibin? Silicin Town. If you beat me, I'll give you one. You can mine rocks with it. By the way, are you up for a mock battle? So boring here. Oh, hey, Vinny. Nice mask, right? Got it for only $7.95. Now rev up those Vinamon, because I sure am hungry for one tasty battle. Oh, unfortunate. About time you showed up, Vin. So fucking pissed about all these John assholes. My city's full of them. I need something to cool down my temper. You want to fight? I'm noticing, um... This song reminds me a lot of a Chrono Cross song. Vinny, nice to see you here. How are things? I needed a break from all the madness outside, so I'm catching up with friends. Say, while you're here, you want a battle? I'm sure it'll be fun. No problem. Come see me anytime. A smidgen of pizza remains. Is it nice or a vice to nab the last slice? A portrait of Sponge. You have a sudden urge to wave a lighter. A vitrine with gifts and memorabilia precious to each streamer. It's playing a talk show where Mike Love is the special guest. The host looks like- looks as bored as Mike Love waxes on a, about his extravagant life. I mean, I'm not gonna actually do the full battle. But we'll get to at least see some of the- okay. So I'm like kind of overleveled for this, but maybe it's balanced out somewhere. Even though it said not very effective, I still ended up using it. It's really good sprites. Like, holy fuck. I can see Scoot just pecking away. Not over yet! Humanity. This mock battle team is pure suck. In the full game, I'll show you the real grandeur of my real team. We're memeing, we're memeing it up hard tonight. Ain't no denying. And I'll give Hootie a little fight. If Hootie doesn't have an actual Rowlet, I'm quitting. Streamer Hootie would like to battle. Wow! Wow, I had no idea this was gonna be like this. Called it. That was amazing. I mean... Hmm. Great job, Vin. My gym's at Reishi Village. If you want to fight for real, come see me there. Ciao. Oh, man, these are so good. Um, do I have time to fight everyone? Whoever's on the Vinamon team, do I have time to fight everyone and still see all the rest of the stuff? Random shiny scoot. I got a random shiny. What are the chances? During the Joel battle, I got the shiny. Okay. Pete Cart Chew. 
Oh, that's why Scoot was like that. Holy shit. It's like one in 5,000 that I got a shiny for that battle. Or one in 8,000. Jesus. Dry Boney said you're better off moving on. Okay. That was fucking therapeutic. Thanks, Finn. Too bad your victory won't carry over into the full game. God damn it. Okay, so... If I'm gonna see as much of this as possible, I can't do all these streamer battles right now, but... Okay, so it's just an actual Mimikyu. I'm sure Nintendo loves this. I mean, it's really appropriate that Rev would have a Mimikyu. Yeah, Mimikyu is awesome. I'm a, I'm a big Mimikyu fan. Swell job, Vinny. Too bad that was only my mock team. I'll send you straight to the loser's ring in the real game. Alright, let's, let's um, let's keep moving. I'm sure the rest of those sprites are really cool, but let's let's keep going. It's ha it's full of half-eaten pizza with centipedes embedded in the crust. Why do you have to remind me of such terrible things? There was another room. All right, centipede pizza. Oh yeah, there is another room. Ah, look at this. Hi, right, we're taking a break right now. Modding a vine saw stream can be a dog's life, but someone's got to do it. Ooh, did I scare you? I wasn't always like this. All those IRL streams took a toll on my exterior. I mean, just look at me. I'm down to bones here. Good to see you. Welcome to the mod room. It's cramped and a little smelly, but at least we got a place to relax. Toilets are here. It's better than being trapped in a horror game, so I ain't complaining. It's hard to stay in gear when you're living gear. This forum's gonna make audio engineering a right pain in the cogs. A portrait of you <laughs> triumphantly next to a toilet erupting with diarrhea. <laughs> Over the toilet, someone scribbled the words Twitch chat. Oh, man. A Ralph Bluton Daikamora. This is a real item, by the way. It's kind of ridiculous that um, he needs to be given away, like, three different times. But... It's, it's clearly a cursed item. <laughs> Squeezing it emits a shrill voice clip saying, What the bubbles? A plushie sitting... On the nightstand, the tag reads Aura Puffs. A faucet. Above it is a dispenser of pepperoni scented soap. Please no. You know what? I actually do have pizza soap. Like, I don't know why such a thing would exist, but it does. Uh, the fridge is loaded with snacks and the streamer's favorite beers. What is my favorite beers? I don't even know. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the saddle. You peeked behind the shower curtains. It's the Scissor Man. <sighs> Not the Scissor Man is what you would say if you were stuck in a survival horror. Caesarman! The name's Cutsman! Who's that Pokemon? Cutsman! Mike Love, our eyes met for a split second at his last concert. I've never felt so infatuated before. Here, his earworm music, that irresistible charisma, that soulful, oh, soulful beard, I swoon. He's my hero, much better than that phony hack Brian Wilson. What? Kill! A photo of Mike Love adorned with little hearts and giant anime eyes. <laughs> I have become Beach Boys, a memoir by Mike Love. The phone has Mike Love's fan club number on speed dial. A Mike Love TV dinner, the portions are arranged in the shape of his face. This guy takes the expression, eat me, to a whole new level. A series of love poems devoted to the villain himself. They're written in excruciating detail, too rancid to describe. It's full of notes from worried relatives. Seems his family is concerned about his newfound... <laughs> Mike Love Obsession. A Mike Love brand potted plant. It's generic and soulless. <laughs> the only distinguishing feature is the name Mike Love etched on the pot. I feel like all this pissing on Mike Love deserves a little bit of like... Like, it deserves a little bit of an explanation. Just in case people don't understand. I want to read you a couple bullet points. Okay. During the recording of the now classic Pet Sounds, Mike Love responded to one of the glorious spellbinding harmonies with Who's Gonna Hear This Shit? The Ears of a Dog? Brian Wilson would later use this as his inspiration for the album title. Love later claimed he was the one that came up with the album title. Mike Love sued Brian Wilson for songwriting credits on tons of Beach Boys songs, even though, even though his actual contributions were laughably minimal. Like his contribution to Wouldn't It Be Nice was Good Night My Baby, Sleep Tight My Baby. Mike sued Brian Wilson again because of a free promotional CD, they're cousins by the way, that was given out for Brian Wilson's 2004 release of Smile, claiming it misappropriated the Beach Boys likeness and that it damaged the band's reputation. Case was thrown out, Mike Love was revealed to be a Grinch. Decades after single-handedly ruining the Smile project, Love claimed he wrote all the Smile songs once the album actually came out. 
His solo record sucks even more than you'd expect. He didn't write the songs on it. Love sued longtime Beach Boy Al Jardine for touring under the name Al Jardine of the Beach Boys. Love launched a Brian's Back campaign, which pressured a very, still very mentally unstable Brian Wilson back into performing, which quickly resulted in him sinking back into addiction. And also, he thinks he's the most important person in the universe. Just wanted to read some of those bullet points. What a guy. Hey, mister, I'm picking berries so my mom can bake a yummy nummy pie. I got way too many, though. I know, I'll share some with you. Thanks, kid. Maybe there's some hope for your generation. <laughs> Mike loves doing something to the water supply. I just know it. Everyone's suddenly more obedient than usual. Whenever he's in town, everyone bends to his every beck and call. Not me. I don't trust the tap water. Only bottled for me. Here, take some. Plastic cont uh, contain contaminants are a small price to pay for free will. I refuse to be herded like the rest of these sheep. A moral mushroom. Get it? Moral village. Lady Vivian. I finally did it. After searching all over the globe, I finally found myself a cute little vinyan. Isn't he just the sweetest? Where to find one? <laughs> I'll never tell. C, shoot, X, use bomb. Slow cat, what? Really? Cool. Doing them two hoos. I still get requests to this day since they did that shitty two who game stream where I played, like, bootlegs and just overall confusing bad ones. I still have people saying, Vinny, you really need to stream a real two-who. And I'm like, well, well, I'm good. No, I'm good. I got Galgun coming up. I don't- I'm good. But Vinny, it's pronounced Toho. I know ho. I know. I know. Oh, that was- that was neat. You knew who? A dog lives here. Is that a growl thump? What's- what's the name of it again? I am a mycological connoisseur. I love going into animal forests and finding wild mushrooms. But beware, not all toadstools are safe to eat. I've been to- into a nice juicy one the other day, and before I knew it, I was a raccoon! Ha, <laughs> sounds crazy, but this show was fun. It was- it's a growlith. Oh, it's not like a- a growl thump. A supersized knife for dealing with that supersized meat. Who's the big meat? Who's the big meat now? I think that was a Link's Awakening reference. Rod Broward. Good day, sir. My name is Rod Broward of Plethesia. Duh. Have you heard... <laughs> Have you heard of Skyrim TM copyright? It's an absolute masterpiece. The perfect video game. You should buy it right now. Just visit your local game re retailer. It's more fun than this trash. Pre-order it. Post-order it. Order it. Order it. Order it. Buy one for your friends, your family, your estranged relatives, your dog, your tulpa. I know that's you, Todd. Just fucking buy it! I believe Todd Howard is a tulpa. I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't exist until I started thinking about him. Screen wave card? Oh, I see what you did there. Alright, let's see. So, I want to teach... Yeah, there you go, Scoot. Scoot's like... <laughs> and, and look at the animation! That's exactly what Scoot's doing. My name is Rod Troward. It's a pleasure to be here. There we go. Alright, let's catch some Vinamon now. Scoot can't do this alone. Oh, is that Ness? Okay! <laughs> okay, no explanation, just Ness! A boy named Ness would like to battle. Ramblin' Mush. Oh, what is that a reskin of? Or a re-sprite of? What is, what is that? That fucking- those legs. Oh, from, um, Earthbound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, the Ramblin' Mushroom Earthbound enemy. I, for a minute, I was like, that's a Pokemon. It's really not. Who's that Pokemon? Pikachu! The battle gave me smiles and tears. Mostly tears, though. Looks like some treasures in the wall. You'll need a way to mine it out. Okay, I need that pickaxe. This is another Beach Boy song. This is, um... Oh, this is the second track. Ain't doing me no good. I wish they would. 
They didn't change it enough. It's the exact song. It's I just wasn't made for these times, yeah. Wasn't made for these times. Squ squaggle? It's almost like they asked me to name a Pokemon. Give me the squaggle. Yeah. At the 96k, kind of. Possum mom. Well, it's a possum mom. Oh! Ah, oh, damn, I wanted to catch it. Sticky stuff. Mister, my Vitamon is hurt. You gotta help me, please. Oh, thank you, mister. If you can give me a potion, I think my Vitamon will be okay. There you go. Thank you so much, mister. It's Vinny. Thank you, Vinny. I don't think I'm cut out to be a trainer. It's not much, but here's a TM that I found. I don't think I'd be good enough to use it while you take it. All right. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> You even got the... It's got like a little red nose for some reason. <laughs> Definitely not a Diglett. Definitely not. Definitely not Scoot's voice either. Good. What does it evolve to? Meat trio, obviously. It chicken, <laughs> uh, beef, and pork. I just got a Vinamon from Professor Dink. Captain Falcon, you saved the day. Yes. Super effective. Oh, meat is gonna get... Oh, no! Oh, man, meat is getting slapped, and they didn't even open an incognito tab. Do not poison the scoot. Meat lit grows. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with it? I'm actually running out of potions here. I just want to make sure meat doesn't die. There we go. Sorry, Squaggle, you have to- I already have one of you, you're- You're gonna have to get removed by the meat. I hate shorts, they're not good for walking in grass. <laughs> see if I can get some attacks in with meat. Yeah, this- this one's a little strong. I mean, meat is- is alive! You know. Damn, Scoot is still poisoned. Scoot OP. No wonder I lost to Scoot yesterday at Vine Wrestle. Two days ago, rather. Those are arms, chat. Those are like little nubby arms. That That's not boobos. Joey over there like shorts. Tingle! I don't know how much more battling I'm gonna do before we hit the next Poke Center, so... Oh, hey, Mr. Vinny. This music. It's a high level of nostalgia here. You know, I have just the thing. Oh, hey, Mr. Vinny. Tingle. Oh, no. I was just getting you that forest berry poop you wanted. So what? What are you saying? But, but first, I need some cash for the bus, so fight me, please. Yeah, I have tingle sound effects ready at all times. Banyanya? <laughs> Wait, this is tingle music, no? Oh. 
do not. Oh, oh no. There we go. Banyanya is going down. <laughs> Punished meat. Yeah. Ripe and Tingle is about to send in Ramblin' Mush. <laughs> no, the bad PC is me just tabbing out to play Tingle noises. There we go. Darn it! I guess I'll have to go back to selling fish and kicking plants in the nuts to earn cash. What was that all about? L just Luigi? I like how there's attempts to make things that look like Pokemon, and then there's just Luigi. <laughs> oh no, Mario! Oh no, I'm trying to astonish with my good looks! Squaggle's big pecs? You look lost, Luigi. Luigi, this is why you don't go running out of the house at night! Stumbling into portals to different dimensions! There we go. There's a level for Squaggle. Or is it squaggle like bagel? Scoot was cured. I don't have the thing that can bring a Pokemon back from the death. From the death. Green Mario healed. There we go. That's shiny Mario. <laughs> Whoa! I guess the early Luigi catches the, mi the meat! Even though Meatlet is dead, Meatlet can still use. Um, let's go to the cave. Green Mario versus Luigi. Here it is, the battle of the century. Thunder! Oh man, they both suck. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Green Mario wins. Eventually. But let's speed this up. Goddamn Luigi death noises. It's a Jan. Oh, what's this? Jan doing? God damn it. For me, the what's this is from drinking out of cups, where he goes, the lizard goes, what's this? What is this? What is this, five, six, four, three? I didn't realize. I just didn't know. I just didn't know. Tomatoman? Like, uh, what, what kind it, of face? Like, the, the, the face, it looks, it looks kind of, uh, like, neutral, like, kind of perplexed, I guess. Yeah. Like it's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Is this a shiny, or is this just green? Tomato Muns are just green. You know what's funny? I never saw a shiny in the 50-something hours I played Pokemon Moon. Apparently, this is another shiny. Was that me? Was that my voice? I, maybe the shiny rate has been, like, upped for this? I don't want to kill. But I need to weaken. Okay, let's see. This might be enough. Okay, the shiny rate has been upped. Okay. So what's the rate as opposed to eight thousand, one in 8,000? What is it now? There we go. My first shiny ever. The only one who's getting a nickname is Green Mario, that's it. 8% is the rate, okay. Rabuzz. This one actually looks like a real Pokemon. You could have convinced me that this wasn't... ...specifically designed for this. I wonder if... Louis oh, it is a real Pokemon. Okay, never mind then. Oh wait, it isn't. It is. It isn't. I don't know anymore. Um, I just know that Luigi here probably evolves into Waluigi. <laughs> the low, that was a low yowl. 
That's not an actual mushroom that you can pick up. Okay, this is where I have to go. An effigy depicting a skeletal gentleman playing his guitar for the masses. Despite his permanent grin, you can sense he's feeling blue inside. Oh, that fucking skeleton game I played. Mr. Bones, yeah, it's Mr. Bones. Just hurry up, I'm finishing here. Lucifer Flipper? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait a minute, is this fire and water? <laughs> I love the name Lucifer Flipper. Thunder! Green Mario cannot... cannot kill. Nice. See, Green Mario's leveling up. Green Mario's becoming quite viable. Scoot is trying to learn Karate Chop. Okay, let's see what Karate Chop does. It is fight. It does 50. I'm not really using Tail Whip. It doesn't matter. It's a demo anyway. Papa. <laughs> nice. Hey, motherfucker. Wee wee. Wee wee. That's it. I like how I was trying to use meat as a main, and then meat instantly bit it. Yeah, another trainer, I was getting bored. Youngster Morty. Yeah, okay. Like, anyone's actually named Morty. Ooh! Kolriki? Is... Does that bird have a... No, never mind. It's a gobbler. Yeah, it's like a turkey. It's a gobbler. I'm really good at pressing the wrong button. Okay. Uh, just let's see. Come on, Scoot. Finish this up. When I saw Cole Riki, I thought it was just a bastardization of Kokiri from Zelda, from specifically Games Repainted Zelda. That was... was that a cuckoo noise? Well, I just want to say, for anyone who's just joining, welcome to the stream. This is the location we first met and fell in love when the moonlight flashed upon her Roberts. <laughs> Dude, she was the one for me! So poetic, so beautiful. This guy, for whatever reason, constantly bugs me about a guy named Robert. I still can't believe he saw me skinny dipping in the water. What, in the Arctic Monkey song, what does he say? He says something about the moon's side Robertson. Finally, something Luigi can... <laughs> I just took me a, it took me a little while, but I have now just realized that the hidden power comes from Green Mario's crotch. Have you ever been to Silas in town? I mean, I was just about to. Ganus? Oh, it's a, just a fucking goose. It's my goose impression. Did you enjoy it? Did it hurt? No. No, I see, I can't do it anymore. And yeah, it, it probably, it was a one-time only thing. Duck versus goose. The ultimate battle. Remove geese. Whoa, wrong, whoa, whoa, sorry, wrong file. Oh, fine, you can go. Red? Oh, it's mackerel. The river around here has too many rocks. At least there's a bridge over there. This is unrelated, but you look like a trainer who can hold his own. Come back if you manage to beat Direbor. I'll give you a swell treat. Mac and chat. Silas in town. Do you, it's Vaporwave town. Oh my god. Do, do you get it, chat? Community of psychedelic proportions. Now you know. An unattended bike. You bike. You have a uh, sudden urge to steal it, but stealing it would make the owner angry enough to stalk you for twelve seasons. I don't get that reference. Misty. Oh, okay. Lots of strange visitors lately. They all look totally identical too. Is this some kind of tour group. Yo, Yoshi is tripping balls on the on by the river. Oh, you're a new face. Welcome to Silas in town. Oh 
Oh, what a darling scoot you have there. I haven't seen one in years. Let me give it a gift to commemorate the occasion. It enhances water type moves. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I wish I could get to Josh, but I cannot. This is a really good... This is a really good ape on, um, on old Squaresoft music. I just want to play the one that it reminds me of. I don't know if this was, um, Synergist's inspiration. But this one in particular, this is what I'm hearing, like, structurally. So... In other words, great fucking job, Synergist. The fact that I even hear a comparison in a good way, like you nailed it. Love it. This town has lax legislation on psychedelics. It attracts many tourists. It seems those foreigners are taking full advantage of it. They've been acting quite trippy. Quite trippy indeed. <laughs> Here's this again. Hmm, those dead eyes, that vacant stare, the quivering lips. You, my friend, appear in dire need of psychedelic enlightenment. May I offer you a tab in these trying times? Uh, no thanks. I have to set a good example for my younger viewers. They tend to be very... <clears throat> impressionable. <laughs> oh no, they're all out of Tums. I need them stat. I just binged on a month's worth of Sunday streams. Spicy. <laughs> Young man, could you help me? My heart. Palpitations. Are you okay? It's... it's too late to help me. It's dark. Please fulfill my dying wish. I'm listening. I need you to pre-order Skyrim HD Remastered and its iOS port as well as offering your soul to Bethesda Studios. On second thought, I think I'll let you expire, but not before I loot your corpse. Ah, buy my fucking game! <laughs> Todd! That's amazing. That's so good. Hey, you look- you're looking fragile. Do you want to swole up, yo? You don't need to tell me. Of course you do. My new exercise regimen... Re regime is out of this world, bro. I'll pump you up fast. It's called using performance enhancing drugs. Some protein. The phone is all sweaty and smells of cheap body spray. Man, there's so much writing. Artwork of what appears to be a fetishly swollen dinosaur. Nope! It's a special devotion to Billy Harrington. Oh, it's a special devoted to Billy Harrington. Rip. Oddly, it's the most wholesome thing in this house. Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird how that works? <sighs> we miss you, Billy. A cross stitch of two missing nose side by side. Schematics for a device that can turn you into a vine mod. Who would want that? Oh, is that buff raptor trying to talk to me right now? Can you help me out? I'm looking for Jans. Too busy oogling at Vinny's illusory reptilian musculature. Musculature. M musculature. This town's getting a little spicy. Handsome statue depicting David in all his nude glory. It is submerged from the neck down so it doesn't affect the age rating. You traded me your haunter with an Everstone? You fucking tool. Give it back. Serves you right for that shiny... Mel Combi you gave me last week. Welcome. Booster pack. A booster pack for triple triad game. There's fucking a card game in this? Welcome. It's where you can purchase new cards. Wasn't triple triad the one in Final Fantasy VIII? Or was it, what was, qu okay, there was quad something and then, I like triple triad a little bit better than, um, the one in, in nine. Tetra Master. I like the Tetra Master was good too. They were both really good in their, their own ways. I, I don't I think I like eights better though. Zig Zagoon. Sealed and Dust Ox. If you win, I'll give you an Arceus card. You don't have enough cards. Oh shit. Alright, let me buy another booster. I want to play at least one of these. You can't listen. If you're gonna do triple triad, you you have to have the music from Final Fantasy VIII. You you can't not. I mean, well, I guess you could. But you've already done so many other references. Cherry. Zoroark. Carvana. A rock. Shuppet. Whew. Oh, it's a ho- oh. 
Wow, this is really detailed. I mean, again, it's just, yeah, it's triple triad from fucking Final Fantasy VIII. It's awesome. But you know I have to play the FF8 version. Get ready to have this stuck in your head for the next three years. Easily bested. It's a simpler form of triple triad, though. Right? Or is this how it was? Or was Tetra Master more complex? I'm, I'm forgetting. That's actually how it is. I love that fucking song. All right. That was cool as fuck. Yeah, the Tetra Master one had, um, sides, like, uh, diagonal stuff. I was getting that confused. Okay. Hey, Vin. Good job not getting killed on the way here. Yes, for better or for worse, I'm alive. Thanks, Imakuni. Thought I saw Jan on the way over here. I'll let Dyer tell you more. He's inside the gym. Don't die, Vin. Thanks, Imakuni. I'll try not to. Okay, this might be the only gym battle I can do today. Hello, champ in the making. Mr. Dink, what are you doing here? I thought your lab was totaled. Luckily, I have homeowner's insurance. Ha <laughs> Very expensive. So, what do you got for me? Helpful hint for you, old buddy. At least I could do. True to his name, Diabort specializes in Vinemon resembling flying. I recommend Scoot. His type ought to prove effective against Dyer's party. I'm rooting for you, Vinny. Ha <laughs> I know you'll triumph all pig brains eight ways to Sunday streams. This is so cool. Miku. Yamaha, you found me! Uh, Hatsune Miku would like to battle. <laughs> oh no. I can't escape Hatsune Miku. Have you heard of Hatsune Miku? This is... this is gonna be good. Talk to him, Dan- oh, okay. Yo, Vin, my man, good to see you. Yeah, same, wish it was under better circumstances. You're probably loaded with questions, just like I'm loaded with these sweet digs. Check it out, Vin, I'm a chim leader. You know how much clout I have now? Let's not get carried away. Yeah, good point. We should get down to business. As you gathered, Mike Loves got all of Fan under his hairy thumb. But it wasn't until we arrived that he upped the ante. Darren, Hootie, Rev, Joel, KY, he's got the whole family stuck here. Fuck. What the hell is Mike Love trying to do? Why does he need F-list F -list celebrities like us? Dunno, but he's using Jans as his cronies. I thought I saw one when I got here. Shit, I bet they've spread beyond Silosin. I ought to see if you can handle them. Let me test your metal, big shot. This is a Vinamon gym, after all, and I gotta protect my street cred, too. Point. There we go. Green Mario, you got this. I think there's another whole area and gym after this, but I won't be able to do that tonight. Maybe another time, depending on whether or not people like this. I mean, again, it's just a demo, so there's not, um, there has not been full completion just yet. It's really, really, really well done, though. This is a lot better than I was expecting it to be, no offense. Do not kill Green Mario. Oh, you flinched! Nice! Green Mario's got this. So, my question to anyone on the team who made this is, how much more is there after Dire? Swineape. On your pace now, about another two hours. Shit. You know, the funny thing is, 
I was actually, um... So they thought I could finish this whole thing in two hours. Nope. But I also, you know, I read everything and I wanted to explore every area. There's a lot going on here. Damn. Don't hurt the scoot. Don't hurt the baby duck. Do not! That's a long ass demo though for like a three and a half to four hour thing. Oh no 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 Green Mario. Come on, avenge avenge your avenge your brother. Do you have any super effectives? No, not really. That's what I'm talking about, chat. Oh my god. This Pokemon might be slightly OP. Nope. What, what is Meatlick going to do? Yep, that's a wipe. I guess today is a good day to die. Cradle scoot in your arms as you run to a one-up center. This is what you get for being an asshole to me earlier. <laughs> I didn't level up my, my uh, Vinamon enough. There's like... Honestly, without putting some like real effort into getting uh, getting them a little bit more leveled... Well, you know what? I did... I did the bare minimum. I didn't go out of my way. I didn't attempt to grind or anything. But... We'll do one more try. It would yeah, I had there was a really bad unlucky crit. Anger point was bad. And it made it oh I see what it did. Okay, see I yeah, that was a super unlucky crit because it made it more powerful. Um I'm gonna probably go back to scoot and I'm just going to attack relentlessly. And you got me for two more hours, chat. Oh yeah, this was no problem without that crit that Swine Ape had before. What? Scoot has evolved. This is the perfect way to end the stream. What could Scoot possibly evolve into? How can you improve perfection? Oh. Buff Scoot. Lipton Scoot. <laughs> nice. He's got little, like, weights in his flaps. Hey, you're not a scrub after all. Good match, so you're going to give me a streamer key now? I sure do check out its sick design. Oh, 3D. It's awesome. You want this too, it's a TM. Or technical machines. Can be used as many times as you want here. This one's TM76. Retaliate. If a Vinamon fainted in a previous turn and you use it, it deals double damage. Now what, you got a plan? Let's rendezvous at the southwest part of town. Don't fall behind, Vin, and try not to die. Alright, well... We know what to do if I return to this, and I probably will. Um, for the rest of the demo. Then that's what I will do. I want to thank... Everyone that made Vinamon a reality. This is genuinely... Genuinely incredible. You know, there's a gamepad option for this, too. I didn't see it last time. I gotta... I gotta do that next time. Really, really cool. Um... Really well done. You got some some sweet references in there. Little little you know they get a little gross here and there, but that's part of the fun. Uh, there's a lot of self references. There's a lot of fun things in there that aren't vine sauce references, but are just good. It's balanced fairly well. I mean, aside from that unlucky crit, I felt like I was playing an actual Pokemon game. I mean, um, a game with generic monster brands fighting each other that have HP and stuff. Please, Nintendo, do not kill. This is a good thing that people enjoy. Uh, I really like that. Thank you to everyone that put that together. That is a cool ass demo. And uh, I think it was perfect for the charity stream. And I'm glad that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it, chat. Thank you.